Hello and welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 31st of March 2020, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, what do you need to know about silver as we head into a new week? Well, silver prices over the last couple of weeks broke down to a swing low of $11.50. They've been able to break out all the way back towards $14.50 per ounce. We've seen over a $3 move in the latest week. We discussed this with you in a lot of detail last week. Don't take your eye off silver. We were seeing gold have a significant breakout, the biggest one-day move last week off the back of the Federal Reserve announcing unlimited quantitative easing. With that, the gold-silver ratio broke down from 125 to 1, back down towards 114 to 1. This is where it propels both gold and silver prices significantly higher. So I hope many of you were able to capitalise on the significant move over the latest week. That was over a 20% move for silver. Now, as we head into a new week, today is the 31st of March. As such, it's the last day of the month, the last day of the quarter, and we are seeing profit taking at the moment on silver. Silver's tapped $13.80 per ounce. It's now back at $14 an ounce. What I would watch out for very carefully at the moment is whether now silver can maintain above $13.80 per ounce. That's in fact quite an important level. If silver was to break in close below 1380, it does actually set up over the course of this month for a retest back towards the swing lows. This is where the gold silver ratio could then pick up momentum to the upside and it would put pressure over silver for more downside momentum. And again, probably set up ultimately for a great buy opportunity if we do see a retest back towards the swing lows, which were tested within the last couple of weeks. On the flip side of that though, if silver on a daily closing basis holds above $13.80 per ounce and then climbs back above $14. This is where you could see the potential just for a pause in price, end of quarter profit taking, and then the potential for new buyers to come in on the first of the month at the beginning of April and push silver back towards $14.50, $15. And then we basically get a breakout, a significant move back towards the $15.50 and $16 handle. And it would suggest the short-term low is in for the metals. You need to watch the gold-silver ratio very carefully. If the gold-silver ratio continues to break down after it broke out to all-time highs, you want to track that day to day. That's where the low for gold and silver are most likely in. But if the ratio picks up momentum, it breaks back to all-time highs again, that's where silver prices will again be under pressure. So that's what you want to keep a very close eye on from a correlation point of view as well. Right now, silver, incredibly lucrative market. The percentage moves that we've seen over the last week just offer some really fantastic opportunities day to day. As you know, we've been capitalizing on that also via gold, via platinum, over a 1,500 point move that we banked on gold. We banked over 600 points as well on platinum. We banked over 500 points on platinum and overall the metals have been extremely lucrative. There are many traders out there right now who are just sitting on their hands. They're not sure what to do because they've never traded in these market conditions before. If you're aware of how the market correlations work, if you've done your research, if you understand historically what happens during a financial crisis, what happens when the Federal Reserve, they start to increase the amount of quantitative easing. They've now essentially instigated unlimited quantitative easing. If you know how to react when that happens, as in that will catapult gold prices significantly higher, platinum, palladium, silver, that's exactly what we saw last week on Tuesday, then you're able to benefit from the markets. It's really just traders who perhaps are newer to the markets, who are novices, who are scared of trading right now. They're scared of the volatility. They're scared because they essentially don't have an edge in the markets. If you've done your research, if you know your data, if you know what the hedge funds are doing, if you know what the money, money managers are doing versus the retail trader, versus the novice trader, how they're thinking at the moment in the market, you understand the volatility, how to capitalize day to day, where the capital flows are going right now, this will really help you to then develop an edge in the market. And of course, many people right now, they are at home, they are on lockdown, they're looking for ways to produce high income, high revenue online. There couldn't be a better time to learn trading, learn the financial markets, learn how to trade commodities. I'm sure you're seeing it for yourself. But the precious metals inflow that we're seeing right now is very significant. In fact, it's challenging right now to go out there and buy physical bullion on both gold and silver. There's that much demand for it. And we're seeing that start to follow through into the spot price in the latest weeks. So there's never really been a better time to trade gold, silver, platinum, palladium. The energies with oil breaking down to 18 year lows, 
We've continued to sell short into oil in the latest week. We'll update you on that with oil asset of the day. But really right now is a time certainly where you can maximize on the opportunities where you should have more time available. You're potentially on lockdown or in quarantine, which if you can flip it round and think of this as a fantastic opportunity to learn a recession proof way to generate revenue, to generate income, this is what will help you through these times right now. In fact, you can really thrive instead of surviving at the moment. And this will also provide you and set you up really well once we come through the coronavirus pandemic as well. That will set you up just with a great foundation moving forward with a research driven approach to the markets. As I mentioned with Gold Asset of the Day, if you would like to find out more about joining the Gold and Silver Club, learning a research driven approach to the markets, there is a link below this report in the video. So you just need to click on the link, make an application, and we will, of course, get in touch with you ASAP. So with that, that's been Silver Asset of the Day. And of course, I wish you good trading.